Welcome back to another coin hunt, looking through the usual £100 worth of 50 pence coins. We're not going through the book this week, that will be next Saturday. So check that video out if you want to know the progress of the book. And of course, tomorrow, Sunday the 31st, I believe it is tomorrow, will be the Easter Bunny Hunt. So be sure to check my video out. That is going to be fun as it is every time. Of course, other channels are taking part and it's just for bragging rights and... There is a trophy, um, I've never had it, in fact it seems like that uh, whoever has it doesn't really keep hold of it all the time. Three, two, one. Welcome back to another coin hunt where I'm looking through my usual £100 worth of 50 pence coins. Now I'm not going through the book this week, that will be next Saturday so be sure to check that out. On top of that, tomorrow I believe is the 31st of March, therefore it's Easter Sunday and we have the bunny hunt going up. So be sure to check that out and everybody else that's taking part. It's going to be a lot of fun, it always is. It's all for bragging rights really. There is a trophy but uh, between most of the channels it is just a big bragging right thing. I've never won it of course and I don't think I ever will but there we go. Right. Oh, sorry, before I carry on, there is information down below about the coins that I'm looking for as well as the coins in the book that are missing. Uh, I'm looking for NIFCs and low mintage coins. Down below you'll find this information and also down there there's information about the mintage figures on 50 pence coins as long as they're available. Right. What is that? That's nice and shiny. Just a shield. Okay, so now it's time to start speeding up the video until I find something interesting to share with you. Oh, and there we go. Our first find for today is Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Very nice indeed, but not really. You know what I mean. Oh, there we go. First coin in this bag is Sherlock Holmes. Oh, straight behind that is Pride. Two coins already in this bag. Oh. And breaks it. So three coins from this bag, good. Oh, Charlie. Well, that's in a bit of a state, but there we go. That is the memorial coin. Public libraries. Some finds in these bags. Here we go. Benjamin Bunny. And we're looking for the rotation error. We don't have it. Okay, what's interesting is, is that 50 pounds of these coins is the last of the 250 that I didn't use for the coin hunt for the bunny, the Easter bunny weekend. So I don't know whether or not that bag would have fallen in with the 250. Who knows? But at the moment, I would only have found two bunnies. There we go. Next coin again is a memorial in better condition than the last one. Oh, two finds together here. I think that's the second one of Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. It is. And then directly behind Tom Kitten. Well, finds in abundance this week. That is Pride. I think that's the first one of these. No, it's not. It's the second one of those today. Oh, there we go. Squirrel Nutkin. 
my word. This is Tiggy Winkle. Three of those. Oh, we have an Olympic. Now, I do not believe that hockey is one that I need for the book, but we'll check that out in a second. Spoiler alert, this is the hockey coin. Let me just check my book. There we go. No, it's not. Not one that I need for the book, but awesome. A nice little keeper again. Hockey. Oh, there's another 2011 here. Oh my word, let me let me keep my Oh, there's another 2011 behind it. What? Oh my word. Hopefully, hopefully we'll find some coins for the book here. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just opening up Excuse me, my book. Right. Okay. What do I need? Okay, so it's those five there. All right. Give me a second. I'll come back in a second. I'm not going to touch any of this. Okay. I'm super excited. I've now got everything that I need in place. I've got the two pages where I have Olympics missing. I have already found an Olympic in the hockey. I've just picked up this one, which of course is canoeing and is in immense condition actually this is really exciting the hockey one's in really good condition as well and the reason that i'm getting excited is because the next coin is also a 2011 so let me do that and the next one i'm starting to shake a little bit actually and the next one okay the next one is a shield right let me pick these up i've got those face down if i happen to see them face down so let's put them back this way that's the majority that i've been finding Oh, this could be exciting. It is exciting. This is unbelievable. This one is sailing. And I happen to have that page open at the moment. That is one of the ones that I need for the book right there. This is unbelievable. Ooh, I wasn't expecting this, especially how the coin hunt was going at the moment. So there we are. We have another Britannia, another Olympic coin. Britannia, that's a 2019. I say they're Olympic. What if one of these is an NIFC? They happen to be upside down as well. Right. That is Victoria across the medals. Who cares? All right, let's keep going. All right. Doesn't look like it, does it? What date is that? 2019. Right, so what I've got are... Let me put these there. And that doesn't mean that any of these might not have anything. Okay. One, two, three, four, five more chances to finish this book. So at the moment, and I know I wasn't going to show off this book this week, but I'm missing, of course, sailing. And you can see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the ones that I was missing. Now, when it comes to the gymnastics one, when I started this book, Christopher Collect said that this is the one I would struggle with. I don't know how he predicted that that would be the case. And he's done quite a good job of predicting considering it's one of the last six needed. Right, let's turn them over. Sorry, this is quite long-winded. Right, we have got boxing. Don't need that one for the book. Ah, right. No, I don't need it. I think that is the modern pentathlon or is it the modern pentathlon? Let me just check. Yes, it is. Sorry, you can't see it. I'm looking at my books. Modern pentathlon. Let me put that back. Okay, archery, swimming, badminton. They're all in great condition. Definitely somebody's put backs. Let me just check, of course. With the aquatics for the lines over the face, we do not have it. Archery, look at the condition of these coins. That's crazy. I definitely don't need any of these other ones, but I am now down to five coins needed. And who knows? There might be more in here now. 
Right, okay, let's get back into these. Oh, that's amazing. What a great little bag. Oh, Charlie at the top of this one. Right, let's sort these out. Okay, so that is a memorial, and I think that's three of those for today. Right. Okay, nearing the end of this coin hunt, this amazing coin hunt. We don't come around often. And there is nothing else at the end there. Now, I can't remember if it was before Christmas or after Christmas where I had those coin hunts where I was just finding full commemorative bags, which was crazy. But I didn't find anything interesting in there. So I got really excited when, first of all, I found that. Then I could see that the next one was an Olympic and I can't remember which one it was. Was it boxing? No, I can't remember now. No, sorry, it was canoeing. And then that I saw that the next coin was a 2011. Oh, it's unbelievable. All in one bag. How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, I believe, at my count. And one of them is for the book, which is unbelievable. You just don't see it, do you? It's crazy. Okay. I'm going to go through the Shields of the Britannias now, and if you join me in a second, I'll let you know everything that I found for today. And there we have it. That is today's coin hunt complete, with nothing additional to add from the Shields or Britannias. I am chuffed to bits. I am now down to five coins needed for the book. So, yeah. Roll on finding those. Sorry, I'm just looking at my book again because I'm just looking at which ones I'm missing. Okie doke. Let's go through them quickly and then I'll talk about my star finds. So, Brexit, Tom Kitten, Squirrel Nutkin, Benjamin Bunny, Public Libraries, Victoria Cross the Medals, Three Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, Two Pride, Three Memorial, Sherlock Holmes, and then let's get on to my star finds for today and then my superstar find. So, Aquatics, Archery, Badminton, Hockey, Modern Pentathlon, Boxing, and Canoeing. And then my star, 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 star find for today is Sailing for the book. Going straight in there after I use it somehow for the thumbnail. Chuffed to bits with that. And of course, some additional Olympics to put into my collection. So very happy indeed with that. Whew, what a coin hunt. I uh, My heart was racing for a little bit back there. I was shaking, so not quite like finding the queue, but there we go. Right, now don't forget tomorrow you can tune in and watch the Easter Bunny Hunt. So that's going to be exciting. We're going to see a lot more channels taking part in that as usual. And it's all for bragging rights and of course the trophy. Righty then, I want to know in the comments section below what have you found recently. Either you've been coin hunting yourselves or maybe just found something interesting in your change. But like I said, leave it in the comments section below because it always interests me. If you're new around here, why not hit that subscribe button because I release new coin content weekly. Thanks for watching!